YouTube. Um, okay, I wanted to talk to you guys about dreams. Um, like, okay, I used to have a thing on my wall. It was above the toilet, but it was a list of things to do that I made like way back when I was in um, either high school or college. Um, but I had calligraphied it all, and it was stuff like um, I wanted to go to an elephant orphanage in Sri Lanka, um, go on a picture safari in Africa, um, go to Italy, of course, and, um, you know, skydive, um, dance in the rain, rain with the man I love. Um, that was on there. But anyway, at some point, um, in my, I don't even know when exactly it happened, but, um, I took that thing off the back of the bathroom, you know, and then when I found it eventually, several years later, I was like, okay, I need to just give up on some of these things, and I don't think that you should give up on your dreams. I, I don't think um, I don't think, I'm not trying to tell you that, but, um, sometimes dreams are more unrealistic than, um, like, I mean, that's the whole point of dreaming. Okay, so sometimes your dreams have to change, like, your dreams have to adapt to your reality, <laughs> okay? So my reality is not... Um, it doesn't allow for the uh, for some of the things like I could still travel you know around different things and stuff but there's just some things that I just can't do um, and that's okay like it doesn't mean that like I still have huge dreams that's why I made a bucket list so if you go to my website click on my bucket list, you can see I still have many impossible dreams, but um, what's been going through my head a lot here lately is that a lot of those I might need to change to, like it might be time um, first, like I don't know, I mean because in theory all the stuff on my bucket list, in theory, it could still happen, I could meet Ellen, I could dance with Pitbull and all the, you know, I want to meet Sia now. She's been, like, totally awesome. But, um, you know, I want, I have, like, tons of impossible dreams. But, like, I thought, I figured for sure by now, um, I would have, you know, been having like good morning in America fly me out there to do an interview which actually they would probably do Skype now um but like I'm I'm unique I'm different I dance around town in my wheelchair I have all these signs I have this website anyway but this is my point okay so like some of the dreams on my bucket list like they might be a tad unrealistic um, this time too, which is still okay, dreams are dreams, but like I might need to start reframing, and some of the things that I think actually I have accomplished my dreams, like one, I have a website that has been seen around the world, like, you know, I think that's a pretty big deal, like, um, you know, I have, you know, pr fairly popular, like, I know this YouTube channel isn't, like, that popular, but people notice me, um, and then all this stuff, like, that's what I was thinking, because I was like, man, I don't want to give up on my dreams, and I don't think that I'm going to, I think that I think I'm just going to start recognizing that many of my dreams already have come true and that some of the things that I anticipated um, 
are not actually, you know, going to happen. Or if they do happen, it'll be like a miracle. But um, that's okay. Like, that's okay because, you know, I have a website that's been seen all over the world. And I have, and and the thing is, like, I was thinking if, if I, like, never gain any more, like, never change anything, than what exactly it is right now. Like, if if this wasn't going to get me anywhere, if the media never picked up on me, if if Ellen never sees me, if, um, you know, if all my, my, you know, of course the firemen already don't think I'm a brother, but, <laughs> I, so I've, like, totally, you know, almost... I have a little tiny bit of hope of being in the brotherhood of the more fire department. But I'm kind of giving up on that one too. But um, it's okay because I have all these dreams that I actually have accomplished. And even if nothing changes, like even if I never get on the brotherhood or meet Ellen or any of that stuff, like I would do tomorrow exactly what I'm doing today. I would still put quotes on my chair. I would still dance around town. I would still, like, it's seriously more fun with music. Like, everybody, I mean, when you're enjoying life, then, and you're feeling the song that's on the radio, which I have songs that I feel all the time, because I have my playlist that I just listened to. And, um, so if you're feeling the music, you just dance in your car as as long as you're not thinking about what anyone else thinks and that's what I do like I just dance in my wheelchair and I don't think about what anyone else thinks except like when the the song came on the other day that was like like evacuate the dance floor and when it says everybody in the club I was at an intersection and I had to wait for the cross walk anyway and so I was like everybody in the club you know everybody in the club like to all the traffic which that's fun so like you know I would still do that stuff even if I never go anywhere even if like I mean that's just who I am now and um but like I I think I already am there in a lot of ways like I'm doing, I'm making a difference, I'm, even if it's just to one person, like, I've always, always believed that even if it's just one person, and one lady, like, came up to me one time, um, and she just hugged me, and she was, like, really depressed, and I made her smile, and she was just, you know, thankful for doing, for me doing what I do, and I still see that lady every now and then around town, and you know, I say hi and stuff, and, um, those, that, that moment, um, that's what, like, I almost said what I live for, and it's part of what I live for, but, you know, I live for other things, too, but, yeah, like, I am making a difference, and even if it's not, like, as, big, even if your dreams, okay, so this is my point, like, your dreams might not come true the way you think they're gonna come true, and I'm not saying that to, like, bum you guys out and all that stuff, but, um, sometimes your dreams have to change and have to adapt to life as it is, and then sometimes you need to recognize that wait a second, maybe, maybe that dream of going to Africa didn't materialize, but I have, you know, I have a hat from the mayor of Moore, like, how cool is that, and, um, you know, it's just, like, my life is awesome, and your life is too, and, and, even if you have to 
give up. Like, seriously, if you have to give up on your some of your dreams. Because some of them, let's just face it, some of them don't come true. Sorry. Sorry. Spoiler alert. But some dreams don't come true. Um, but that's okay because other dreams do. And sometimes the things that you didn't even know was your dream, like, in hindsight, you realize, wait, wow, that was really cool. Like, I'm a parent, you know, like, for the rest, you know, that's another, like, miracle accomplishment, you know, and, um, I make people smile, and I, I have freed myself from a lot of insecurities, and even if all my dreams came true, and I met Alan, and was on the brotherhood, and, or, in the brotherhood, and, like, you know, threw a big party for my town and all my heroes and all that other stuff that's on my bucket list even if I do which means like you know I meet the celebrities and stuff I've I don't know some somehow one of these things I want to make money like that's the thing too because like I hate money I really do it's um I mean it's not I don't hate money I just hate the need for it, um, and, but I do need it, and I would do so much, so many great things if I had more of it, but, um, I would also do some selfish, petty, you know, little stupid things too, but anyway, that might never happen, that might be a dream that I need to give up on, um, because, so many dreams have already come true and I need to count my blessings and be thankful for what I have and still believe like I do still believe that I believe that what I'm doing matters and um, better than that I have people that tell me all the time that it matters and um, you know I think that's amazing and that's a dream that's a dream coming true every time it happens so um you might have to give up on your dreams. That's my word for the day. <laughs> but just bummer. <laughs> um, but it's okay because um, dreams are not meant to last forever. But um, what you do with your time here can last forever. So I hope you use it wisely and make a difference and um, make someone else's dreams come true. Like even just being happy and smiling and stuff just make a difference. Um, okay, that's it for now.